Welcome to the FX Options Weekly Outlook, a weekly podcast series hosted by Jason Ayers, a top instructor, trader, and founder of Optionsource.net. Join Jason as he discusses the latest trends in the Forex market with a look ahead on the U.S. dollar versus the major currencies using the most commonly used technical indicators. Well, hi there and welcome to the ISE FX Options Weekly Outlook for July 19th, 2010. As always, this is Jason Ayers of Optionsource.net. Let's take a look at a weekly chart of the U.S. dollar index. This is a great way to gain perspective as to how the U.S. dollar has been trading against a basket of currencies. While the dollar index continued to slide lower last week, testing the upper range of a key support at 82. We do suspect a bounce this week with the 84.85 focal zone as a logical target. A quick look at the daily snapshot here reflects the importance of 82 as support with the consolidation at 84.85 lending credibility to the important role that that range plays as a possible resistance. Next up, the U.S. versus the Canadian dollar is seen here in the ISE FX options pair value CDD. While the CDD pushed higher last week, breaking through the 104-105 focal zone, which now becomes a key support level. We do suspect some consolidation here as the pair does look for support. Uh, however, the 107-108 focal zone remains a strong overhead resistance level to any continuation to the upside. Let's take a look at the YUK, the US versus the Japanese yen. Well, the YUK continued to slide lower, respecting the downtrend that has been in place for the last two months. 85.86 is an important support level, and a bounce here is likely to push towards a test of 88.89 for resistance. However, with the trend in force being to the downside, we are more open to a continuation deeper into this 85.86 focal zone. Let's take a look at the EUI, the U.S. versus the Euro. Well, the EUI is testing the upper range of our 76.77 focal zone. We are expecting a bounce this week with 78.79 as a logical target to the upside. Let's take a look at the BPX, the U.S. versus the British pound. Well, the BPX continues to trend uh, to the downside. However, a test of support last week was followed up with a bounce higher. 65.5-66 will act as a resistance level for any continuation to the upside for the U.S. dollar against the British pound. Well, the AUX, the U.S. versus the Australian dollar, continues to consolidate in what appears to be a large bull flag. 113, 114 is an important support level. With last Friday's break above 114.5, we are anticipating a push towards this 116, 117 focal zone. 113 is a key support level, and a break below this will open the window for further weakness in the U.S. dollar. Let's take a look at a few of our key points. First of all, the U.S. dollar index continues to slide lower with a test of the 82 support. We do suspect a bounce higher this week. 84.85 will be a strong resistance level acting as a logical near-term target should the index move higher. The CDD bounced as anticipated, exceeding our 105 target. After such a big move, we suspect some consolidation this week as the pair looks for support. 107, 108 remains a logical target to the upside, acting as a strong resistance to any continuation higher. The YUK continues to trend lower, testing a major support at 85.86. Although a bounce off of this support is expected, the trend remains strong to the downside. A break below 86 opens the window for an extended move lower. The EUI continued to slide lower last week, testing the upper range of our 76.77 focal zone. We suspect that this level will act as support, lending credibility to a bounce this week. 79 will likely play a strong role as resistance. The BPX tested a major support this past week. A bounce should test 66. A break below 64.5 opens the window for an extended move lower. The AUX tested support at 113.114 last week and bounced. It appears as though a large bull flag is forming. With last week's break above 114.5, we should see a follow through to test as high as 118. And this has been your ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for July 19th, 2010. As always, this is Jason Ears of OptionsSource.net. Thanks for joining me here this week. We'll see you here next week. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary, visit www.fxoptions.com. Become an Optionsource.net member. Visit www.optionsource.net. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.